Hello everyone, Jason here, back with another video for you guys out here in the beautiful outdoors, uh, nature, Utah, right now. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about escaping the rat race. Is it possible? And yes, it is possible. I did it, not to brag or anything. It was a lot of work, and I don't know how long it will last, but it's an experiment trying to escape the system for a while and see if it's doable. So far, it's working. Um, so, the rat race, of course, being the modern slavery of mankind in Western society, chasing after material things, working nonstop just to be able to try to get ahead, not always working out so great, but basically we're all pretty much most of us, anyway, we're like little rats chasing a piece of cheese inside a cage, completely oblivious to the fact of anything around us in the cage, let alone that we're even in a cage to begin with. Or another way to put it would be like a hamster on a wheel chasing whatever the prize is, and the wheel just keeps on spinning and spinning and spinning, and we're just spinning that wheel completely oblivious to everything around us, again, especially the cage that's keeping us in there because we're so focused on the little piece of cheese or the toy or that little prize being all the material things that we chase after that we think is going to make us happy. Uh, let me try to make this lighting a little better if I can. Anyway, so yeah, nothing wrong with trying to get out of that mentality and to stop feeding the system because in reality what are we doing when we're a part of this rat race besides our own detriment not really for most of us not finding true happiness because man's not built man and women mankind's not built to work our whole lives away literally our whole lives for a few material things and a few brief moments of freedom on like a weekend say some people don't even get that maybe one day off a week some of us get two or three days but working the majority of our lives away for not for us but for the system and it really is like probably most of you guys have watched the matrix it's like waking up to the realization that we that there's more to life than the rat race is kind of like neo when he sees humanity as batteries enslaved by the machines and really that's what we are when we're a part of the rat race most of us we are nothing but batteries and our energy is being stolen from us and given to the machine being the whole system the corporations the corporations the government and really all the machinations of the entire Society, really, all the systems, all the constructs of society, uh, organized religion, and everything. In one way or another, our energy is being siphoned to people, the mainstream media, news, government, pharmaceuticals, all sorts of different corporations. And they keep us in fear, and that's how they keep us enslaved, basically, is by fear. And that's the uh, the brief breakdown of how and why they do it, is to get our energy, just like in the Matrix. It's really, we are. We're human batteries and we're feeding this machine. So there is absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to break free from this. People will guilt trip you and say, oh, you lazy, you don't want to work anymore. Well. Is it really that we don't want to work or that we want to work and do things that are more fulfilling and satisfying at a deeper level than just making money? Um, there's lots of ways people can work without having to do it full time and slave their lives away just to get by, just to pay rent, just to pay a mortgage, just to get one more, one more toy, one more piece of equipment, one more nicer house, whatever it is to this nicer landscaping so it looks better than the neighbor or equal with the neighbor whatever it is you know just trying to keep up with the joneses at the end of the block another saying it's that's how they keep us in this mentality so there's nothing wrong with trying to get out even though so many 
probably most people in society tell us that they guilt trip us when we try to talk about getting free from it. And if you're anything like me and you've ever thought about it and voiced these opinions that you wish you could be free and not be a part of the rat race and maybe not work anymore, at least only work a bare minimum, and not doing a work that you don't enjoy, at the very least, people will tell you you're crazy and this is impossible. You have to work full time. That's what you have to do. You have to work a full time job or at least you have to work in the system with a part time job to get by at the very least. But you have to work all the time regularly for the rest of your life to survive. You have to do it. There's no other way. That's what they're going to tell you. So it's what they told me. Uh, same thing goes with so many things. When you think outside of the box, society is going to tell you, no, that's not possible. And for most people that I've met before I did what I've done now, which I'll get into here in a second, um, I would voice my opinions and my dreams and my hopes that not only for myself personally, but for people in general, to get free from the system and to be able to live without having to work all the time, at least not work for a greedy, corrupt system that doesn't care for us, be working for each other, um, you know, instead of working just to get enough money just to pay rent, maybe we're working, putting all our energy into helping kids at an orphanage or helping animals at a rescue or doing a self-sufficient off-grid community, and the list could go on and on and on, but there's so many ways that we can use our hands and our energy and still not be lazy but not be working for the system we're working for ourselves and our neighbors and our families and the earth all living beings we're working with them and for them instead of against them for ourselves which in the end doesn't even make us happy and so we're just destroying everything including ourselves when we just keep slaving away overworking ourselves in this stressful race to get ahead. So, I hear a four-wheeler coming down the road, or maybe it's a truck. Yeah, there it goes. Dakota! Good girl! Anyway, so, uh, lost my train of thought here but I'll get it back so that's they try to guilt trip us they try to tell us it's impossible so this is what happened to me not just with this idea of getting off off grid and out of the rat race uh, which I've been wanting to do but felt like there was no way probably for this very reason that they instill into your minds that there is no way and you get so stuck in the grain of doing the same thing over and over and over it honestly truly feels like the only way and uh, same with taxes if you try to tell people that it's possible maybe I'd like to work a job or run a business and not have to feed the war machine with my taxes or feed my government that puts my own kinsmen behind bars who have not harmed anyone maybe I don't want to support that Maybe I don't want my hard-earned money, which is really my labor, which is really my very life force. I don't want to spend part of my life force to enslave my fellow men and women in this country or bomb them in another country. So maybe I don't want to pay taxes. Maybe that's a good thing to not want to do that. Maybe that's actually the moral high ground. But when you tell that to people, they are just... No, you have to, or else you're going to go to jail. There's the fear, or it's your duty, uh, then there is it's your duty, I guess, to pay for other people's enslavement and your own. And they'll guilt trip you that way, or they'll say, oh, how are we going to have any of the basic services, which again is fear. And obviously, if man through the government can do that, then man without the government can do the same thing voluntarily without having to coerce people and steal from their neighbors, all in the name of government, really, but to get back on track. It doesn't matter how you think outside of the box. If you try to escape the system in any way, try to unplug yourself from this capsule, so to speak, 
going back to the matrix, to, if you try to do that, they're going to tell you it's impossible. They're going to guilt trip you. They're going to do all this stuff. So how did I do it? Well, first, I just had to come to the realization that those are all lies that people tell you, that society tells you, that come from up high. It might be people in their own minds, but really it's not. It's, it's someone else's thought that they're repeating when they say, oh, it's not possible. And so you have to stop listening to other people's thoughts and you have to stop believing the lies that the enslavers want you to believe. If you want to be free, you have to stop believing the tyrants, the enslavers, your captors. And so that's the first thing. You have to stop believing that it's impossible. So if you want to get out of the rat race, that's the first step. you got to believe that it's possible. And then you have to do something about it. Uh, maybe just a small step, but you got to take a step. You can't just be like, this is what I did at first. I was like, I believe it's possible. That's a huge step. But then if you just keep running around down that rat race, you're that little rat chasing the cheese still. It doesn't matter if you want to get off of it, you're still doing it. You have to take a step in the uh, other direction towards away from the cheese and towards whatever it is you're after. Probably for most people a deeper happiness, helping their fellow humanity, animals, whatever it may be, um, living more in tune with the earth, all of the above, none of the above, but probably something almost the complete opposite of what most people in Western society are chasing after. They probably, you probably, if you feel like this at all, you're probably tired of chasing after illusions and you just want to actually find something real instead of having to constantly chase, chase, chase. You just want to actually get something that you can hold on to, something deeper and more meaningful. So you got to believe it, you got to know why you want it, and you got to go after it, you got to do something about it. And so that's what I did. Finally, after telling myself over and over and over that it's not possible, I know, I believe it's possible, but I don't know what to do, so I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing. Well, if you're sick of what you've been doing, if you hate the job that you're doing, then you have to make a choice and take a step to stop doing it. So that's what I did. I just decided I'm going to move. Um, I was kind of tired of the house I lived in, so that was one thing. I'm going to move, and I'm going to sell my business and I don't know what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna be done with this rat race one way or another and I just started taking steps in that direction I started selling my equipment I ran a small business and uh, things just kind of fell into place I didn't really have a plan you don't have to have a plan um, you just have to be dedicated to doing it and so I decided well I'm just somehow I'm gonna go off grid and it just kind of happened. I ended up having to work a whole bunch more than I really wanted to, and that's another thing. You might have to work overtime for a little bit to get some things to be able to eventually stop working altogether or stop working the job that you hate or to get out of the rat race, so to speak. You might still have to work. Um, that's another topic altogether, but yeah, so I just, that happened all summer, and I just, you just gotta learn to listen to your intuition and let the universe or God or however you want to look at it guide you. Um, there's a force more powerful than your mind out there. There's a greater mind out there and just let it guide you. Uh, believe, you have to believe and go, go with your gut instinct and chase after what you want. If you want freedom from the machine, you gotta take steps to get that freedom. So that's what happened and for me, it, it happened with a uh, pretty much a mobile off-grid setup here. Um, maybe sun shining a little bit, but we can. Anyway, I got a uh, little solar panel. If you can, there we go. Got a little solar panel here and a little canvas tent with the wood stove. So that's good for. Uh, the little power I need for my laptop and charging various things and uh, heat and uh, cooking and uh, propane stove and a few other little things, chainsaw, water carriers, um, lots of stuff like that. So I didn't really have everything planned out. I just I just went with it. And really the main thing was just deciding, getting over the lies that it's not possible to get out of the rat race and then 
once I believed it, I had to take a step in that direction, and then you got to work towards that goal really hard. And for me, it involved, there's my bike, it involved a lot of working that I was really sick of doing, the kind of work I wanted to get away from, but I had to do it to get these few things, and I had to start selling my business, taking those steps, and once it was, once I was actually going in that direction and there was no way back to the way I had, to the life I had been living in the rat race, so to speak, um, you know, once, you, once, there, once you've gone far enough in one direction, once you've actually taken steps, well, you can't go back, so some, there's going to be some way forward. And so that's pretty much what happened with me. I guess you could say it was a leap of faith, and so far it's been working out. Of course, there's the logistics to it. Um, it, it to an extent, it's true. If you don't work, how are you going to eat, so they say. But there's just so many ways where you can not work for money and still make money um, it's just you can volunteer and a lot of times when you volunteer you get stuff that you're not expecting like I volunteered at the food bank with no intention of getting lots of free food but it turns out when you volunteer at the food bank you can get lots of free food because of all the food waste and really don't feel bad about it. It's not like you're taking the food from the even more people that are more needy than you. That's not really how it works. All the volunteers can take all the food they want and there's still plenty more food for all the people coming through that are homeless or more or possibly even less needy than you are as a volunteer. So that's another thing, another way that it kind of worked out. I was not planning to stock up on a lot of free food from the food bank. I just wanted to help and volunteer, and so I did, and it turns out I got a bunch of free food, and I still got to buy a little food here and there, but I got like probably over a hundred cans and a lot of other dry food and boxed food, rice and quinoa and beans and chilies and all sorts of cool stuff. It's really pretty out in nature. Um, stored up, and I didn't plan for that, it just happened. So. When you do good for other people without without uh, greedy intentions, good often you get something out of it that you weren't expecting. And so that's another way that it worked out. Anyway, so for me I've got this little mobile off-grid um, setup and it's working so far and I'm not lazy. Um, I just hate working jobs that I got sick of the business I was doing and I hate working for the system, whether I'm paying taxes or not. Um, when you have to constantly pay rent and the price of housing goes up, uh, you're just constantly working just to survive. And I'm tired of working just to survive. I'd rather be spending my time chopping wood for my own heat than working a job to make a bunch of money to pay a big corporation to give me heat. And so I'm not opposed to work. It's a lot of work to do what I'm doing in a way. It's a lot of work to go off grid, whether you do it camping style, whether you do it owning your own property, whether you're gonna raise animals, grow a garden, whatever it may be, it's not easy. So you can't be lazy if you want to escape the rat race. You just Really, I think for most people, we just want to put our energy towards helping people rather than towards enslaving them and killing them and poisoning them and all the other things that the big corporations that typically we work for or spend our money on or fund to survive, banks, paying mortgages, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, you don't necessarily have to work a job to eat. You could volunteer at the food bank and probably, if there is a food bank, a local food bank where you're at, you could probably live in a tent like a homeless person, volunteer at the food bank and get enough food by doing that once a week, practically enough food to survive, and you never have to beg. So that's just one example from my own experience um, of how it's possible to not work 
and still survive. Um, there's lots of ways to camp that are not miserable. Um, campers, you might could save up enough money to buy a camper or convert a bus or lots of people live in vans, set up little solar panels on the top of their vans and make little nice little mobile mobile uh, units with their vans, um, off-grid units like campers but with a van. Um, some people if you can do things, if you're handy like a handyman, you can uh, probably get a cheap van or camper and fix it up and for not very much money do something like that. Maybe you have a lot of money and it really just entails you deciding you want to get out of the rat race, spend your money instead of constantly getting more and more material things, uh, spend it instead on, you know, maybe buying a small piece of property. Um, for everyone it's going to be different. I have no idea the specifics of how each and every one of you, whoever you may be watching this, is going to be, but I know for certain that there are a lot of people out there that are sick of the rat race, they want to get out, and I just want to let you guys know it's possible, you just have to put your mind to it and follow your heart more than logic sometimes is what you have to do. But anyway, um, don't want to make this video much longer. But yeah, just you have to stick with it. You have to uh, go with what you feel is right. And if you feel that this whole rat race is not right, then get out. It's possible. Beautiful creek behind me. Um, nature is so much more peaceful than the busy, stressful daily life of society. So I highly recommend getting out of it one way or another. Maybe you still can work a part-time job. Maybe uh, make money with YouTube videos. That's something I wish I could do. So far, not much luck ever since my channel was taken down for David Hogg a long time ago. I have, for some reason, not been able to collect many more followers since, despite having quite the following at that point. I wonder why. Probably has nothing to do with YouTube algorithms. In any event, that's just one possibility. There's lots of ways to make money doing what you enjoy and helping people. It's just that they are not necessarily widespread in this society and they maybe are often looked down upon as not real, real, real jobs, so, so to speak. Um, but there's lots of ways. I kind of wish Steam it, Steam coins would go back up in value. That would help. I've got a lot more time to make posts and videos, but now steam is low, but I'm sure there are many ways. Uh, lots of nonprofit organizations have survived on uh, donations alone. So if you're doing good, good for humanity, people are probably going to come along and fund you, and you're probably not going to have to worry about it. So if your heart's in the right place and you're wanting to help humanity heal and free ourselves from this insanity, then you know. It's probably going to work out in the long run. You just got to be dedicated and stick with it. There's going to be some downs and some ups, and you just got to go with it. And it is possible, and I'm going to keep uh, updating people on my journey as it goes. Uh, today is five weeks that I've been off the grid, and I'm still alive and pretty happy. Happier, I think, than I was doing my work. It took some getting used to, but uh, probably still will take some more getting used to, but it's not as lonely as I thought. Probably because I got my puppy, and because nature is so wonderful and beautiful. Anyway, so yeah, getting out of the rat race, it is possible. Go for it if you're feeling like it. It's not for everyone, at least not a big jump like I took, but there's, like I said, many ways to do it. So hopefully my journey and this video, but more specifically my journey will inspire people to take steps to free themselves from the stranglehold and the machinations of the rat race and the matrix that we are so caught up in that does us no good and gives our energy to those people who truly do hate us and our brethren here and abroad. In any event, that will be all. Thank you guys for watching. 
Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, re-steam it if you're on Steam it, whatever. And I will be back with more videos. In the meantime, have a very wonderful day. Get out into the outdoors if you haven't been in a long time. It will bring you peace. And on that note, peace. Till next time, this has been Jason. Thanks for watching.